this power. Feel this space. From a clump of rocks to a globe of melted lava crusted over by inconceivably cold space temperatures and covered with ocean water brought from meteorites, the development of our planet is extraordinary. How, though, do we explain the particles evolving into collections that function as a unit? As discussed in previous episodes, all particles are constantly randomly jostling and decaying, creating ever more disorder. We refer to this notion as entropy. Life, remarkably, utilizes outside energy in order to temporarily lower entropy locally. It's spectacular. Surrounded by complete disorder, against all odds, life comes together. It's able to grow, react, metabolize, transform energy, and reproduce. In order to operate, all living things we know seem to have an encasement, a mechanism to perform work, and a set of instructions. Theory suggests that hydrothermal vents in the early oceans presented the ideal environment for carbon and other minerals to combine with hydrogen and create lipids. Experiments show that lipids naturally form spheres in water. Some believe that lipid spheres trapped amino acids, RNA, salt water, and other minerals. Studies have also shown that proteins can form from amino acids under these conditions. Proteins are able to perform work, and RNA can provide instruction. So it appears we had the elements and molecules available early Earth. Where did the RNA come from, though? Well, we have evidence of nucleobases, which are the building blocks of RNA found in meteorites. Some question why we have yet to observe the formation of new life from these vents. Well, early Earth didn't have oxygen. Now that we do, hydrogen and those other elements react with the oxygen instead. Oxygen seems to have been a byproduct of early life, not a precursor. Although abundant and a crucial role in evolution since then, it actually seems to prevent the origin of new life. We have some potential explanations for how the components of life could have been present and together during early Earth. How did they unify into an operational, ordered system, though? Some physicists argue the answer is simply entropy. Experiments have shown that any molecules exposed to an external source of energy, like the sun, will restructure themselves to more efficiently dissipate energy. You cannot stop my flow. Feel this power. Feel the space.